And back with us for what home design is Hamish Dodd. And Hamish, you got some tips on buying the right furniture for your home. I've just been using his know-how to try and organise my house, actually. We've, we've, we've been, we've been <laughs> squiggling. Designs, yeah. We've you been squiggling. You can't really see what we've done, but yeah, trust us, it was very important. Uh, OK, well, I think, uh, yeah, we are going to have a little chat about uh, choosing a sofa or a couch or how you perhaps want to lay out your living area. Mm. Uh, and, yeah, I, I figured that lots of people do this. They go out and they can mildly do it wrong. When yeah. do you start looking for a new sofa? When do you start looking for yes. one? Yes. <laughs> well, um, normally when the one you've currently got looks shabby or out of fashion. Can I give you a hint on that? Yes. When you've got a kitten and it's scratched all down oh, the side, yeah. when you've had three kids and they've spilled everything imaginable <laughs> on that couch, and the arms that used to be flat start getting a bit of a raised bulb bit yeah. to them, that's when you look. <laughs> okay, good. Stuff growing mm. inside. Yeah. I, yep. I, I guess the key is it's, it's where do you start when you're going to look for um, a fin furniture in some form? What most people do is they actually just jump online or they go off to stores and start wandering around and mm. they have real, no real sense of the scale of the area that's going mm. to. You and I were just drawing pictures there, yeah. then you were like, oh, okay, but there's not that much room there. It actually pays to have quickly drawn up the room, uh, not just the dimensions of the room, but where the doors are, where the windows are, where built-in furniture is, Mel, prime example, window seat yeah. built-in, right. and, and where the kitchen island is in your place. They are the dimensions of where everything is, and also perhaps the height off the ground that the windows are, because that can determine if you're going to have a sofa that sort of is nearer a window, how high the sofa should be. Yeah, so, so height and depth important then. Uh, uh, yeah, height, uh, well, yes. <laughs> okay, that, that would go to the next thing. Once you've measured up, you need to make sure that what you're looking for is actually going to be fit for purpose. Right. There are a lot of couches and sofas that are very low to the ground. Uh, so uh, if you're a taller person, uh, that might be quite uncomfortable mm. to sit in. You know, because your legs are kind of going to go up and then down. Or an older person. An older person, they're going to have trouble getting out of them. Mm. They might want an arm that's a little more substantial on one side. So you've got to think about how high it's going to be both in the base of the seat, but also how high the back is. You don't necessarily need some huge clumbering piece of furniture that's going to start to break up and divide off the room, particularly if that couch is going to back onto a kitchen area or a dining room area. I know, we like to do that in New Zealand, put our couches against walls for some unknown reason, don't we? Yeah, <laughs> we, we have a really, a, a really great trend, which is you have a room and then we push all the furniture to the outside <laughs> edges because that makes it look bigger. <laughs> no, okay, it does so, not. So you can have a bit more fun. Uh, just quickly, yeah. I've always been confused. When they say the width of a sofa, yeah. where are they measuring from? Okay, that is from the outside edge of the arms. So don't think that that's how much room there is to sit on the couch. Right. It is the outside edge. So if you've ah, got a nice. couch that's got very wide arms, some of them do, particularly some of the more L-shaped and, you know, that, that sort of style, yeah. they have wide arms. You've got to go from the outside edge, okay? okay? I'll Girls. move on to yeah. um, leather sofas yeah. and a sort of a, an aesthetic thing. Should you have cushions on a leather sofa? Yeah. So I, I see this, and I even see it in showrooms. Yeah, but it's I go that. to. And, well, the thing with it is, cushions slide and slip off leather, yeah. okay? Leather couches tend to be more of an upholstered style, therefore they're designed really not to have cushions stacked all over the top of them. Uh, I did recently see someone, I went to their house and they had uh, a Lazy Boy suite, um, nothing really against Lazy Boy, apart from that I'm not a huge fan. But they had cushions all over them. Right. Now, you couldn't even sit in the chair with the cushions <laughs> sitting on top of them. Like so I was like, when well, you take off. those off, if you want a cushion or a, a throw or something, they probably need to go in like a nice wicker basket or something next to the chair or on an ottoman next to you you can pick up and bring on. So the answer to that would be no. Leather couches, I tend not to have cushions on. They are more of a statement piece and maybe have the cushions if you really want them stored away somewhere else. OK, great tab. Let's talk fabric then, yeah. what sort of fabric choices do we have? Right, so this is where one needs to think about what they're going to use the couch for. Is the couch going to be a snuggly, comfy couch, which is your only couch maybe that you sit as a family and watch television? Uh, and if that's the case, you probably want something that's more linearly and, and textured, okay? If you have small children, you're going to want something that's easy to clean. You don't just have to have leather at this point, okay? You can get um, a lot of the outdoor fabrics, which are quite resilient to cleaning and scrubbing, allow you to have a bit more texture and pattern. If you are going for leather, you don't want really, really expensive leather, because really, really expensive leather is really, really soft. Okay, so it doesn't last. It's going to mark and get scratched up. If anything, you should go for a medium to more cost-effective leather. Nice. It's going to be harder and more durable. Oh, awesome. That sounds like excellent advice, Hamish, and I'll talk to you a little bit later about my situation at don't. home. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks for the job, hey, Mel. Yeah. <laughs>